Hello everyone, this is Keto Cooking with Cory, and today we're going to be making creamy keto sausage, peppers, and onion casserole thingy. It's delicious, trust me. I'll have the full recipe with the ingredients and directions down below, and I'll do my best to leave links to all the gadgets I use. Here we go. First, we start off with one and a half pounds of Italian sausage, and we're going to slice them up into little chunks, I suppose. Hot dog slices. Delicious. We're just going to start cutting those up just like this, everybody. Easy peasy. Okay, and now after having a clean cutting board, we're going to go on to the next ingredient, which the recipe calls for two peppers, which I have these cute little mini peppers. Oh, okay, yep, that's meat. Good job, good job, me. Anyways, so we're gonna cut up these mini peppers. I'm just gonna cut up whatever I think is about two peppers, maybe a little extra. Don't tell my boyfriend, because I really like red peppers. So I might get a little extra heat in there. All right, and we're gonna wanna slice these peppers into little slivers, just like that, kind of like a carrot stick. And then we're gonna cut those carrot sticks in half, just like that. And then just keep going. And complete. Ah yes, excellent. Look at all those peppers. And now the next thing is me cleaning this cutting board still. Alrighty now. Just kidding. Here we go. Half a medium onion. So you're just gonna cut big chunks out of those, I suppose. Something that you put on a burger, and then you're gonna take that and then cut that in half too. What comes next is that we're gonna take this pan here and put it over the stove over a medium heat. Put a little bit of olive oil at the bottom just to get things going and started, you know? Does anybody else see Mickey Mouse? Those two ears and that nose? Okay, whatever, never mind. That's not the point. We're just gonna start spreading the oil around, get things started. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Okay, you know what? Now we're going to move on to the sausage. We're going to spread it out all across the pan so we can cook them all. Yep, cook them all. That's all right. Now the thing about the sausage is that I would love it if I could have each side cooked perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out each sausage flat. Every single one of them. Turn it. Get Stop it. Stop attaching. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Nope. Yes. There we go. Close enough. So we're just going to lay them all out flat, just like this. So they can all get heated up at the bottom there. Get a little bit crispy, maybe. We'll see. As you can see, this might take a little bit of time, but trust me, the outcome is a little bit worth it, I'd like to think. Okay, and now we're just gonna let these guys cook a little bit on the stove. Just walk around, do whatever, I don't know, knit a hat if you want to. And now in a couple minutes, maybe five, 10, we're gonna come back and flip them over to check the bottoms. As you can see, that some of it's getting a little bit darker and uh, burnt, which is exactly what we're going for. 
And yes, it's again a process flipping every single one of these over, but trust me guys, the crispiness is awesome. And now we're gonna let that side cook a little bit too, get all that juicy goodness. And we're gonna come back and check. Everything's looking terrific. Might actually want to start. Yep, we're gonna take them out now. It's about time. Okay, and now we're gonna add just the onions for now. Just sprinkle them, oh, there's a pepper, that's fine. It, it's going, okay, we're gonna add the whole thing, screw this, we're going at it. Woohoo! Doing it our way, you guys, whoop, whoop. That was lame. Anyways, so we're gonna start cooking those up. Deliciousness. Give it a little more olive oil, I think, just to keep things going. Dun, dun, dun. Just kidding. But here we go. Still cooking them, sauteing it, I guess. Doodly doop. Still going. So I'm just gonna start flattening the pan out, getting them all in one area and then saute them in that one spot and then every once in a while I'm gonna keep coming back to stir them up a little more and then flatten them out again and let them steam up some more. Okay, we're gonna take those off the stove, raise the heat up a little, ooh, wow, that was pretty. And we're gonna add in two tablespoons of beef broth. Yep, just like that. Yep, that broth sure is brothy. And look at the pup, isn't she cute? Anyways, now we're gonna add one and a half cup of heavy whipping cream. Get it all in there, don't wanna miss any of that. And now we're gonna add two tablespoons of tomato pa Oh my, I made a mess. Tomato paste, two tablespoons. Don't make a mess, you guys. Or do, you do you. I'll do me. Let's have fun with it. Never mind. let's clean it up. That makes me feel better. All right, now we're just gonna start mixing this all up. Right before we do that, we're gonna add one teaspoon of Italian seasoning to the mixture. And now we're gonna mix it up for good this time, for realsies. I'm just gonna add some pepper and salt because I love some salt and, you know, pepper. How can you not have salt without pepper? Nah.
and as you can see it's going to start turning this beautiful pinkish color well on the camera it looks a little more tangerine but it's kind of like a salmon pink it's girls you know what i'm trying to say when it comes to colors it's beautiful it kind of looks like a pancake i don't think that's what pancakes are supposed to do it's okay you guys you've got this and i say that because we're making sauce not a pancake i think we'll be all right And now I'm gonna come in and add a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I'm just gonna spread it around perfectly evenly because we want it all to just melt in with that sauce, make it this cheesy goodness. That is what's gonna make this the whole dish the best thing ever, trust me. And now we're finally gonna add those delicious sausage chunks that we cooked up earlier. Just gonna plop them right in, just plop, plop, plop. You get the gist. And then we're gonna add the onions and red peppers that we uh, sauteed up. Just dump those ones in. Not, no sense in plopping those ones for some reason. Now we're gonna stir it all together, perfectly even. We wanna get that sauce on every little piece, you guys. And now for the best and final part. We're gonna take a whole cup of mozzarella cheese and just sprinkle it right on top. Just a whole coating, a whole top layer of beautiful mozzarella cheese. It seems I have some cheese runaways. Well, you know what? If you don't want to be in my delicious meal, then just go. Goodbye. Anyways, so now we're going to bake this in the oven for 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes, maybe. And it's going to look beautiful. Just look, you guys. Oh, cheese Louise. That's amazing. It just gets better and better. And then when you put broil on top and just watch it go a little bit, get that cheese a little bit crusty on top, oof. That's gonna be good, you guys. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes over here in this little world of mine. So we're gonna pull it on out 
and just look at that. It's still bubbling. We're gonna let it sit and cool down for just a second. Just let everything settle down a little bit and just make it the right everything. Just the right everything. So here we go. Uh, I don't know where to go from. Just in the middle, I guess. Here we are. Uh, no, I'm not comfortable yet. Okay, this way. I think this way is good. Maybe this way? Okay, here we go. It's too late now. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, wow. That cheese. You guys, you... If only you could smell it. That was a tiny scoop. I'm going to have to get way more than that. Thank you very much. You guys, this was an amazing dinner, and I really hope you like it. That's it. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, I'll stop there. <laughs> Anyways, check it out, you guys. Isn't that amazing looking? It's so good and so comforting. Awesome.